Stephen Dettelback, the director of the ATF, called for an assault weapons ban and universal background checks at a Harvard Institute of Politics forum. The same dolt that couldn't define an assault weapon when put on blast by Congress. Hmm, we're going to talk about this one, because as with the smoke, there's usually fire. Before I jump into that, I want to thank the sponsor of the video, and that's Mechanic Superstore. Uh, whether you're a shade tree mechanic that likes to tinker with your own toys, or a full-blown mechanic who does it professionally for a living, the Mechanic Superstore has scissor lifts, two post lifts, and four post lifts to make your life easier. Get off your backs and get off your crawler and work standing up. Their lifts also work well for storing cars and, like I've said before, one day I would love to build my own dream garage and be able to have at least a couple cool cars in there because you can use these lifts to store cars. Raise one up, drive them under, and boom, you just doubled your stored space. Check them out, the link is down below. Thanks to Mechanic Superstore for being a sponsor of today's video. You know, back. let's get back to the uh, ATF director. Uh, during this political forum, Dettelback said that the country is not in a very good place, and he pointed to the prevalence of mass shootings in America, as well as the overall death toll to gun violence. There's no such thing as gun violence, it's just violent criminals who happen to utilize that tool. He referenced the recent mass shooting in Lewiston, Maine, where we know a gun, a crazy person killed 18 people. But Delbeck said this, there's also every day in the United States, over 120 people who lose their lives because of firearm violence. Again, firearms don't do anything by themselves. Delbeck continued, every day there are somewhere between six and seven Lewistons that occur mostly anonymously in this country. And that's absolute BS. He's using gang violence and stuff like that, as well as suicides in his numbers. Uh, Dettelbeck said that there are two fundamental pillars to reducing gun violence in America, and this is where it got interesting. He said one pillar is we have to get better, and at ATF we are getting better, on identifying the drivers of violent crime. He said, we are getting better at identifying those few people who are likely to shoot. Sounds like more minority report type action from the federal government. Uh, let me know what you think down below. The second pillar, he said, is doing something to either stop or at least slow down the flow of firearms to those people. Hmm. I also want to thank, uh, the, this is the best shirt I think I have in my, in my arsenal. Uh, this is from TriStar Trading, link will be down below. This is the official member of a government watch list. Uh, when I do videos like this, it, <laughs> it makes me want to wear this uh, all the time. I also have the hoodie, the hoodies are in stock too, a fresh restock on t-shirts and hoodies. T-shirts up to 6XL, uh, hoodies up to 5XL, I, I recommend on hoodies going up one size. But check them out down below. This is, I just happened to be wearing this and just saw it in the, the camera. Perfect for this video. Let's talk about Dettelback a little more. He said ATF must prioritize following the gun or keeping track of where the gun was prior to its use in a crime. Hmm. 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 Minority report. He also added that Congress has said that we're not allowed to have a gun registry and Congress has said that we're not allowed to have certain types of searchable databases. Yet they do. Dettelback added, uh, we follow those rules meticulously because in our constitutional form of government, where there is a law passed, you follow it. Where there's a law passed, you follow it. Hmm. ATF doesn't follow the Second Amendment. ATF uh, makes their own rules to try to create law. They're not really following the laws because... The laws say they don't have the ability to legislate. <laughs> this guy lies out of both sides of his mouth. When asked for his wish list, uh, if he could ask Congress for any powers or authorities, the ATF director said, I think it would be helpful if we had universal background checks in this country. <laughs> he said, I think that's something that makes some sense. Background checks already happen. Universal background checks add the registry component, and it also stops you 
from private sales of firearms. You know, the ATF and the federal government want you to stop being able to sell your personally owned, lawfully owned property. They want to control what you can buy and sell. He also added that the president has also said, and I agree, that we should consider and reinstate a ban on certain types of assault weapons. Yep, there you have it. Dettelback. Dettelback also said there was an overemphasis on individual rights, including the Second Amendment. And then he said this, quote, people who have the view that their rights, their individual rights, are the only thing that should be taken into account, it is just not who we are as Americans. Wait, what? What a jackass. He continued, we care about our rights, of course, but we respect other people's rights too. Respecting other people's rights is one thing, but stripping people of their rights because it makes other people feel better is a total different conversation altogether. Maybe this ass clown should read the United States Constitution. Uh, Stephen, I know you have your people watch this channel, and if any ATF agent would do me a favor in forwarding this to uh, the ass clown in chief, Stephen, if you would love to have a, a study session on the US Constitution, I offer my services to you at no charge. I will educate you on our rights just because you need to know it. I, I, I offer that to you. So uh, you can hit me up, let me know. I'm, I'm sure you know how to get a hold of me already. Uh, that's an offer from me to you. Now, what do you all think about this guy and his fully expected turn towards wanting to ban those constitutionally protected items that are in common use? I think that uh, this was foreseeable. I mean, Joe Biden is not gonna hire anybody that doesn't have the same point of view uh, or take their uh, orders and just march. There's a lot of movement, a lot of talk, a lot of scuttlebutt about another attempt to institute an assault weapons ban. It's probably not going to happen. Uh, I don't see it getting through the House as it's currently constituted. But if they could get it through the House somehow, the Senate will pass it and the President will sign it. Which is why I always say keep that dialogue running with you, between you and your legislators at all levels city, town, state, uh, federal, uh, you can easily find those numbers with the Google machine. Congress, I always give you the number, it's 202-224-3121, I call it all the time. Have those conversations, stay on their radar, because silence is acceptance. Let me know what you think about this ass clown down below. I would love to see your comments about Dettelback and his desire for universal background checks, registry, and an assault weapon ban. Even though he can't, he can't define assault weapon at his job interview and the several times he's been called before the Judiciary Committee, the guy can never tell you what it is, but he wants to ban them. Let me know down below. Until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, carry a gun to keep you, your friends, your family, your community safe. If you want more information like this, more news like this, subscribe to the channel down below. It's that easy. Look forward to seeing you on the next one. Take care.